What's up everybody, CHM Carnivores here. I wanted to talk today about the number one most important reason why uh, we collect Nepenthes. And the two things that are facing Nepenthes um, that are working very fast to ensure that they are gone, unfortunately. So first, start with the good, or the bad, instead of the good. Um, we've already talked about poaching. Poaching is a huge issue with Nepenthes. Um, a lot of people, Right now, the Nepenthes market is taking off. There's a lot of interest, which is amazing. A lot of people want to own these plants, even more amazing. The problem is that a lot of nefarious people out there are, are wanting to uh, get these plants um, by any means necessary. And so they are ripping these plants right out of the ground by the stems. Uh, most of these plants will not survive the poaching effects of that. Um, and so what we end up having is just entire species being eradicated. Some of them like Clipiata, Rigidifolia are almost completely gone, if not completely gone, Rob Cantley eye. Um, we've talked about that and the importance of making sure that when, what you can do as a collector is making sure where you're buying your plants, uh, you are reputable and that you've done your research on that and that will help stem the tide of the poaching um, epidemic. Now, the second thing is the, um, I don't know what you would call it, ergonomic farming. It's probably not right, but basically um, these crops. So a lot of these um, places where these grow, that land is being completely eradicated to make way for um, mainly asparagus cropping, but there's other uh, uh, croppings that are being used. And so in a, in, in a bid to grab more land, all these plants are being eradicated. So. There's a lot of issues happening, and that's not even bringing in the climate change and how that's impacting the plants too. So um, I cannot stress on us how dire these situation is for these beautiful, amazing plants. Um, 35 of them are endangered, 10 are critical, and there are uh, several that have already been, um, as far as uh, in situ, uh, completely eradicated. Now, the good news and why I press so hard for this. So I, you know, a lot of people collect Nepenthes, me being one of them, because they're amazing and they're awesome and they're so cool, right? And that is perfectly fine. They're so cool. But just think about every Nepenthes that you own, um, you are helping to elongate their uh, life that they've spent millions and millions of years developing. And there are a lot of plants out there that are on the extinct, are on the um, uh, endangered list. So why Nepenthes? Uh, for me, Nepenthes are one of the coolest because they have completely changed um, their entire identity uh, to survive. And that is such a cool life lesson in general for me. I think it's so neat, right? They have they have done whatever is necessary in order to survive. And so what do I mean by that? If you were to actually look at Nepenthes uh, and their DNA, now there's scientists out there that are way smarter than me, but they've almost removed entirely everything that's not carnivorous and their DNA so that they ensure that they get it. Now, obviously the plant didn't make that decision consciously, but that's happened over uh, millions of years of evolution. And it is just so neat how they get their food and not to mention the fact that they are remarkably beautiful. But uh, the other reason why we collect them and the, and the most uh, important one for me is to help in some small part to continue their legacy. Make sure the generations after us get to enjoy them. Um, my children, whom CHM Carnivores is named after, um, help me out a lot with these plants. And so that, to me, is one of the most rewarding experiences, is that they can be part of this legacy. So I encourage you to get involved in them. Don't be discouraged or afraid of all the negative uh, hype that you hear about them being difficult to grow. They are not difficult to grow. If anything, once you've gotten their environment down, they're a lot in a lot of ways easier than most plants I find to grow. So, and I am here to help you. That is the whole mission here of CHM Carnivores is to get as many people on board as possible. I am here to help you succeed in that mission. And um, I'm here to answer any questions that you have about that. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic day. And as always, it's been wonderful talking with you. See you soon. Bye-bye.